The RCMP is facing criticism for arresting a man who identified himself as a journalist. David Menzies works for Rebel News. He tried to ask the Deputy Prime Minister some questions yesterday in Richmond Hill, Ontario, when the arrest happened. The CBC's Kate McKenna is following the story in Ottawa, and she joins us now live. So, Kate, what can you tell us about this incident? Well, Andrew, this is a video that's making quite a splash online. The video shows David Menzies approaching Finance Minister and Deputy Prime Minister Christian Freeland yesterday in Ontario. It was captured on video by Rebel News. Ms. Freeland, how come the IRGC is not a terrorist group? Why is your government supporting Islamo So just to kind of uh, reiterate a little bit of what we saw in that video, uh, we saw that Menzies tried to ask a question to Christian Freeland when he's blocked by the RCMP security detail uh, and then told that he's under arrest. And he responds by saying, well, he was just asking questions and moves to show his credentials uh, to the RCMP uh, detail. Uh, that video was released by Rebel News. Uh, it's not the entire video. The, the full version of the video goes on to show uh, Mr. Menzies being arrested by by York Regional uh, Police. We did reach out to uh, that police service that said that uh, he was later released uh, for having not posed a, a credible threat to the public and, uh, and it, he was released without uh, conditions. Now, David Menzies is a reporter for uh, Rebel News, which is an, uh, a media organization that prides itself on, on its own website of being uh, outside of mainstream media. Uh, it, it presents itself as having a conservative uh, worldview. Uh, but this move uh, from the RCMP detail is receiving uh, quite a bit of, of criticism online and from some prominent people uh, for how uh, Mr. Menzies was, was treated by police. Uh, it was also criticized by the leader of the Conservative Party, uh, Pierre Polyev, who uh, posted on X, formerly known as uh, Twitter, saying, uh, this is the state of freedom of the press in Canada in 2024. Now, it is worth noting that this is not the first time Menzies has been arrested uh, in trying to speak to politicians. In fact, even prior today, there was already a, a website that was set up uh, intended to fundraise on behalf of, of uh, Menzies when he is arrested. And, and, you know, it's also happened when he's talked to conservative politicians. For instance, he was forcibly removed uh, from an Andrew Scheer event as well as a Melissa Lanceman event in 2021. But uh, Ezra Levant, the publisher of the website, is saying that uh, they are considering legal action and they're also uh, fundraising for that legal action on a website that's been uh, set up uh, following, or not following, but uh, being promoted as part of this, uh, this arrest that happened yesterday. The RCMP has not responded to a uh, request for comment. Kate, thank you. That is the CBC's Kate McKenna, live in Ottawa.